talk to you about Harmony. Then we have Kim Iverson and Natasha Wade who are going to talk to us about My Tech Hike, which are the ones that everyone asks. Then we have John England over here. He's going to talk to us about the new homeschooling. You top it all. You top it all, the homeschooling bill that people have been talking about. So before I dive into Harmony, is everyone aware of Harmony and My Tech High and how that differs from homeschooling and kind of the online charter school? Okay. And so both of these offer funding, which is kind of what um, everyone is kind of curious about. So I'm, I've got my, I've got it pulled up here so you can see what it actually looks like, and I'll go through it with you. And yeah, hopefully I'm not familiar that. with Harmony. This is the time to ask the same. Oh yes, yes. Are you familiar with it? Okay. All right. Yeah. So Harmony. Um, I'm just some in general, just yeah. Thing. So there are some like online charter school programs, and so you're you can sign up for that, and so you homeschool, but it's not like technically homeschooling because you're part of an online charter school. And what Harmony and My Tech High do is they take some of the funding they get for students and they kick it back to the parents directly. So you get money that you get to choose what to do with. You can sign your kid up for like extracurriculars. You can buy school supplies. You can. Do arts and crafts, so you have this, you have this funding to use for your um, kids while you're like homeschooling. Um, yes, Whatever there, portion they don't cover in the education is that kind of. A... Yes, yes. So they, the, yeah. So there are different amounts. We'll dive into. I'll tell you what Harmony does, and then um, there should be cha more chairs back there. If not, there are some in that room. You can sneak into that class. All right. So this is Harmony Ed. Um. Okay, and so. Uh, what Harmony Ed does is it offers you $1,800 per student per year. And so what you need to do first is sign up for your classes. And so this is what it looks like when I log into my, my account as a parent. Come on in there, chairs. I think more chairs here in the hallway or in that desk. All right. And so here's kind of what it looks like. Um, go through to the parent dashboard. They partner with some school districts within the school. Like I said, you're not technically homeschooling. You're partnered with like an online school. So we're part of Iron County School District. All right, and so a couple things. Um, let me show you. Um, let me show you my kiddo, Johnny. So right here, I have all four of my kids, and they. this is the, the funding stuff. Anyway, so they give you $1,800. You'll be able to access it here online, and you can see what it is. And so first, you need to sign up for your classes. So there are three op there are a couple different options. You can sign up for the portfolio, which is what most everyone does. Team seems to be the most popular, where you pick your own curriculum, and then once a quarter, you send them proof that you've been working on certain on this topic. Right? That's the portfolio. Um, they also have like the worksheets, like the flex worksheets. And that's where they mail you a packet of worksheets and then you do one worksheet a week, scan it in and send it back to them. Um, and so that's like on target age, age and grade equivalent stuff. Um, and then you can also, they have online classes they teach and I haven't ever done that, um, where you can like sign up to take their classes or you can like pick your own online curriculum. So like for my boys, we signed up through Harmony for the Alex math program. They paid for it. I just signed up. I was like, I want to do Alex math. They paid for it out of my funding, signed me up, and sent me my username and password. Um, and then they check in with me. If we fall below our target, then they'll email me and be like, hey, are you doing it? Anyway, so they help keep, keep you on track for stuff like that. So you'll sign up for all of your classes, and they'll take, your, take out your funding. And then whatever's left, you're able to do whatever, whatever you want with. So let me jump to here. Here's my funding. It's the end of the year. So it says right here. I think I'm out for this kiddo. Um, oh, previous year's information. Okay, I was only half listening. What is the funding, like how much a year? For this year, it's been $1,800 per kid per year. Kindergarten is half of that. Okay. And then they keep track of it, so you're only allowed to spend like half of it up through December, and then it'll reset. Okay. Um, so I bought, my I bought my boys their own laptop because you can do technology. Um, technology stuff. I bought my daughter an iPad so they could all have their own device and they covered that. They covered a laptop charger. They covered the mouse. They, um, like I said, they covered the courses. Then we bought a lot of school supplies like printer ink, pencils, your basic stuff, more fun things like a microscope. I mean art supplies. Um, we bought a 3D printer. 
is something they covered. And then they cover any educational toys. So like Lego sets count as like a STEM activity. Um, so any of those like science or art or any of those toys. So we did a lot of Christmas presents actually through Harmony. <laughs> That's what we did. We got a lot of big Lego sets. So there are a couple different ways that you can do it. Number one, you can just email them directly and say, hey, I want whatever. I want sax and math. I want Matthew C. Here's what I want. And they'll order it for you um, is one way to do it. Um, you can also do an Amazon wish list. So that's what I mostly did. I went through and made an Amazon wish list, David School Supplies, and then sent them a link to my wish list, and they sent it to me in the mail. Um, the other thing you can do is, so like for classes, extracurricular classes, you can have them say, hey, I'm signing my daughter up for like tumbling at the sports academy, and they'll mail me a check that I take to the sports academy. Or I can take in my receipts from the sports academy and say, will you reimburse this? So I can submit receipts, and that's the same thing. If I buy printer ink at Walmart, I can get reimbursed. Or I can say, hey, I want you to order me some printer ink from Amazon. Anyway, so the funding's been super easy. Like I said, it, it'll say, like, I, I do my courses, and then I kind of buy whatever I want. Yes, because I, I got in as well. And I literally just screenshot. I'm like, I spent $100 in Venmo to do archery class today. Exactly, yeah. And I screenshot, and I sent it to him, and I got a check within a week. Yeah. Was. Oh, yeah. They so tell you they tell you to wait for like three to six weeks, but I feel like all of them have been less than two weeks. Yeah, it's been fast. So, yeah, it's um, been. And so yeah, so that's how it works for us. Um, the other thing is the reporting. Is people always ask? Does anybody have finance questions first? Yes. I have a little boy with Down syndrome, and he has an IEP. Do you know if they do speech, anything like that? So they do partner. Does anybody know? No, I've heard. Go ahead. Yeah. So with um, IEPs. It might be different where you have an IEP. My little boy does speech, and I just found somebody that does speech here in the valley, and they just covered the cost for me. Okay. But with an IEP, they might reach out to like the local school district and get So I that just way. went through the whole registration, and my son has an IEP, and they said that you have to, they don't want you to do the portfolio. They want you to actually do their online classes, and they'll provide a speech therapist. Wait. That's what I, that was what I got from the email back and forth. So, okay. One of Except my they, uh, for me, what I'm going to do is still do the portfolio and show them that I'm, and then you can pay a third party, I believe, they'll pay for that as well. Because mm -hmm. I was like, my, but that's, I have a kid with wanted. autism, and I'm like, he can't even FaceTime. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think what she was just saying, it's free if you use their, if you use the local school district that you're in, like, not the local, the, the courses they have the available. The courses they have, yeah, they'll provide it. Um, through that or you can pay for it with your party. Yeah. But one of the things that's great is that you're assigned a mentor. And so like I have like a lady, she checks in with me, but if I have any questions, I'm just like, hey, I have this question or hey, and so she walks you through the whole thing. So I was like, hey, what about Lego sets? What about these really big Lego sets? How big can I go? And you guys can still cover it, right? Um, so she, she can answer all those questions. You're assigned like a mentor who knows you and your family. Um, so the one thing that's you got. <laughs> I know, right? There was no limit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They were $100 Lego sets is what we bought, so they covered those just fine. <laughs> Lego, Lego Star Wars, they didn't care. It was educational, so there you go. There you have it. <laughs> okay, so if you have portfolio, well, yeah, a couple other things. There are two types of reporting that you have to do with Harmony. The first is the weekly question, and this, this is like their attendance. So it's right here in your homeroom. Your, your child's given a username and password for this, this canvas. And this is their dashboard. Um, so like I said, my daughter is all in portfolio. Portfolio, you can see all that. Um, so I just take pictures of it once a quarter and send them in. If you have classes, online classes or something, you'll access them here through your school district. Like I said, my boys use an online program not through the school district, so that's not on here. Um, but that does report directly back to them. So right here, your child will have a home homeroom. And so once a week, you have to get on and answer the question of the week, and that counts as your attendance. And it's something super simple. My kids do these independently. I don't spell check them. I don't even, I don't even, they do it by themselves. So this is this week's. It's something that so you have an option. If I could make one rule that everyone in the world had to obey, what would it be? Why? Or what did you learn about this week? So here's my seven-year-old. There you go, the end. That's what she typed up. This is pretty typical of what she does every week, and that counts. So it's super simple. You can, put, you can put emojis in there. So, so it is not like a high stress, high time. I don't have to like do anything. 
Um, I do my own like writing curriculum, so I don't really worry about this because that's not doesn't count as language art. So I let her log on and do this thing. Um, so this is very typical. So this is once a week. You get on ask this question. I swear, it, I mean, it takes her 45 seconds probably. Um, and then the once a quarter, you have your por portfolio. And so for each class, you have to submit your portfolio. So each class that you have a portfolio through, um, so here's like her language arts. Once a quarter, uh, you have to get on and submit, submit something. Um, so you can do a video. Um, I usually take pictures. So I go through their workbook and just take five pictures and then just upload them. You can put, look, I just did this today because it's due. So, so it's five pictures that you have to have per quarter, like um, five assignments or something? Yeah, yeah, it says, so it has instructions. So you can do a video, um, or it says like five to eight samples of their work. Okay, per quarter. Per, per quarter, so it's super easy. Um, especially, I mean, all of my stuff is in like workbooks, so I just flip through, look, and then here's the other thing. And I haven't ever had a problem, so it's just super fast. So is that um, five samples per category? Yeah, so like this is language arts, and then in her math, because that's portfolio, I have to have a different one of math. Um, for science, I have to have it. And then each kid needs an elective. Um, so one quarter I did it, they had them do an online typing program, so I took screenshots from the typing program. For this year, I just did their piano lessons. So when they were practicing piano, because this is due on Friday for the quarter, while they were practicing piano, I was like, I need you to, uh, I need to record a song. <laughs> so I just. So do they give you any feedback when you turn those in? You can see that it's that it, it's usually just like ten out of ten. I haven't. No one's ever been like, your daughter spelled this wrong, or no one was like, can we have more samples, or this doesn't count. I've never had a problem. So they don't really track like where your child is. Still living in the yeah, they don't, I mean, I think they do. So this is, this is my portfolio for her elective piano lessons. It was 32 seconds long. Anyway, you don't really need to watch it, but just so you <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so super easy. They've never, like I said, they've never, I mean, they keep track of it. Like I said, my boys got a little behind in math, and she would email me and be like, hey, it's, you're supposed to have 35 topics learned, and you only have 25, and I was like, I know. <laughs> so how did she know that if you were just submitting portfolios? So that was for different. That wasn't for portfolio. That was an online program they had signed up for. Oh, oh okay. But for portfolio, they don't keep track. I mean, it's just proof that we're working, but they're not like, are you on grade level? Have you done anything besides these five assignments? They don't ever yeah. ask for anything, so it's been super fast and easy. Okay. Um, does anybody have any other questions? I I, I've heard that they only go up to eighth grade. Is the, that but true? Now I think they changed Are they it. expanding that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just got approved through high school. Nice. Because, yeah, I've liked Harmony. It's been good. It's the only one I've tried. And this is our first year homeschooling, so I've literally tried nothing else. But I'm not changing it next year, so I think that means something. <laughs> All right, yeah, sorry that was super fast, but yeah, that's the reporting, when they talk about the reporting, and then when they talk about the portfolio versus the worksheets. We tried worksheets for my daughter's science. I didn't like it because it was like literally just like a black and white worksheet. And then I had to like scan it in, and so I didn't like that as much as like I'd rather. Anyway, and then I've never tried the classes. You can sign up for a class where you have an online class that an online teacher teaches through the school district or something, but I've never tried that because it's not why I'm school. <laughs> Might be better for high school. I know it might be, yeah. yeah, when it gets, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's something. Any questions here on? I do. Harmony, yes. Oh, it just left me. Okay, I remember one. So, for any sort of extracurricular, like piano lessons or sports or whatever, um, I thought they had to go through like this vendor program. They don't have to go through a oh, vendor thing. So, it does, yes, that's a good, very good thing. It, your your person does have to be a third party vendor. vendor. Um, Okay, but I actually learned they don't. They don't have to. They don't oh. specifically so, have to. Okay. They, yeah, they yeah. would like them to. Okay. But if like, because we have a music class that's right next door, and she's not big enough to be on there for it to be worth it for her tax purposes. Yeah. And so she, she, I did. I sent her the information. I told her all about it, and she kind of looked into it. But then it just never really panned out. And I, it takes my mentor. And I was like, hey, can I just like get reimbursed? She's like, oh yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, so it was get, super easy. So you get paid up front if you want to do I a vendor. I tried to have her do a party. And they still reimbursed it? And she did not get a third party thing. She did not uh -huh. get it. And I just texted a mentor. I was like, he's going, they're going to this music class. 
She said, great, here you go. I wonder if the difference is, and I don't know, check with your mentors on this. So you can sign up for a class through, if they're a third party vendor, and they'll send you a check. Yes. Address yes. to that. I person. just have to pay yeah. first, so and then they'll reimburse right. me. So and I then, think if okay. you pay for it up front, pay your neighbor for piano lessons up front, then I th it sounds like you can get reimbursed. But they, so you'll have to pay for it first and get reimbursed. I but for if they're a third party money. vendor, oh. they'll send you a check okay. that you can give to them. So if it's something yeah. more pricey well, that's that you don't want to like drop a couple hundred bucks on, then you can if they're a third party vendor. You do the same thing. All right, that's really good. Yes. Okay. Does um, funding open in July? Oh, is it June? So I thought there was some time in July. I don't remember when it does. Is it July? I'm pretty sure it's July. Nice. And then, so yeah, so then it's like, so there are like certain time periods. You can submit a receipt whenever you want, but like the Amazon wish list only to, opens twice a year, so you have to do that between. It's like, it's like before the, October 1st or something. Yeah, and then it like resets and like from the, anyway. Yeah. But, but it'll say it all on there. And then the worst case scenario, you buy it and submit a receipt. Um, yes. do, they, do they only cover things for the school year, or do you go, like summer schools, like summer camps and stuff? It's a good question. Yes, tell us. This, this is how it works. So if you pay for it before the end of May, they'll cover it. Because you can't submit receipts after May. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Yeah. Pay in advance if you need to, or <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's so time. time frame. Like when do you get into this? Yeah, so go online. I think they're going now. Yeah, so get online and apply. Let me pull back over here, and you can see harmonyed.com. Um, and yeah, you can just. It's an easy. It's an easy application, and they're pretty quick to get back and say that you're in. So right here, harmonyed.com. Apply now. Applications, please. Yeah. So here you go, basic stuff here. Um, yeah, and then it was fast. They have a spot online where you get in, you submit your child's birth certificate and immunizations or whatever. So, whatever proof of address or something. Okay. And then, yeah, super easy reporting, super easy funding, in my experience. All right. Tax exemptions, pretty simple too. Oh, vaccination exemptions. Because maybe, yeah, they will ask for that, but. All right. You guys ready for my tech high? <laughs> Should we get both, you guys both want to go together, or do you want to each t say a little bit? Either way. Who's each? Who's um, me. She's oh, got, hi. she's hi. got. How long have you done my tech high? Three years. Okay, mine's four, so should I go first? <laughs> well, real Does quick. We could go together. Real quick. I just want to make sure people are clear about if you haven't done charter schools, like, I'm assuming Harmony is the same. A lot of the things with my tech and Harmony are the same. I like even the Legos. Like, it's math. They don't care. Um, so my tech is not a school. It is a business. I'm assuming Harmony is the same. It's a business. They are a middleman. And so they are connecting you to public schools. Uh, like my kids are registered in Tooele right now and they're online charter schools your child is registered as a distance education student you are registered you are like their teacher or whatever um, and by doing that it makes it so that that charter school they get funding because your child's enrolled there and they get funding based off of the numbers so they take a little bit of that money they pass it on to My Tech High or Harmony. They take a little bit of that money. The rest of it is available to you to use. So as far as the state is concerned, your child is not a homeschooler. Um, they are enrolled in a public school. And that's why for some things with funding that there's some restrictions like religious materials or things like that, you can't get reimbursed for those. They don't care if you use it use it um, but you just can't get reimbursed for it because it is a public school um, so and as far as like state testing or your immunization records I, mean, I opted my kids out of the state testing this year just because their curriculum we're using doesn't match up with what they're doing in the public school so it was just frustrating and it makes sense but you just go in there and you just click opt out that's basically it sign your name on it and you're good 
Um, so I just wanted to make sure people were clear about what exactly the charter school. So can you continue to opt out with the like, immunizations and testing? Definitely. My kids are opted out of testing. Completely. I haven't done immunizations. I you may. have to do it every year. Yeah. You have to opt out of testing every year. And so they will ask you if you want to do regular testing every year. And you can say, no, I don't want to. Or you could go and just for kicks and giggles see if your kids are way above or right on schedule. And if you do it, it's just over Zoom. It's not like you have to take them anymore. For Harmony, I was going to do it because why not? But Harmony, it was in Roy and it was like four hours in Roy. Yeah, so I was going to do it, but then I was like, yeah. or online. You can so no. Because mine are always Zoom. on Zoom. Yeah, my boys. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, so my daughter, my second grader was over Zoom, so I did hers because what the heck, why not? Uh, but for did my boys. Did they give back the results? Because they did an assessment on our kindergartner, and I never heard anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought the when results we did it with my son, we did get an email back from, like, it comes from the school district or something, not from my tech. Okay. Um, it took a while before it got back. Like, long enough that I was like, oh. If I wanted to actually use this, <laughs> it's a little well, late. the end of the year. But, and so. Yeah. But, so. Say anything. Okay. But okay. This is another day. So I, I just want to make sure you guys are clear about what exactly they were in general. So okay. I'll let you. We can just stand up there together. Okay. Because I'm not. And do a song dance. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Just ask questions and we'll answer them. Oh, so. um, <laughs> just so you know, like, we could log in and show you, but they just told us that they're redoing it. So if you apply for my tech high now, and you're new, you'll go through the new. So it's a good time stuff. for us to all switch to Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do it. But so we're just redoing our website. Yeah, the website. Redoing, okay. And like, yeah, it's stuff like she was showing just the format and whatever. You were saying there's a few differences, mostly the yes. same, but a few differences. Yes. Um, one of the big differences, my tech high obviously is focused on technology and entrepreneurship. Okay. Because of that, your child is required to take a technology or entrepreneurship class every year. Every year, but that's not a big deal. Like when I first heard that, I was like, Ugh. but like my kid did like Lego We Do. Um, or right. robotics, robotics, or you can do the. My daughter's doing photography. Yeah. Kiwi crates. The kiwi crates for the younger kids. You can get those in the mail for them. What, what do you say, uh, class? Is that uh, something that the school is offering? Okay, so there's one? three different that... types of classes. Okay. There's a custom made that you do whatever it is you feel like that you want to do. And you get $225 for a custom build class, and you essentially will keep your receipts or whatever you do and then submit them. Yeah. On so. top of the 1800 no, so that's different. Let's different talk about funding in just a minute because funding is different. Um, so there's the custom built that you do whatever you want. There is a direct class that they have some courses that you can take from them. Right now, my daughter's photography <coughs> class is from them, and my son is doing a Minecraft class for his tech class that's through them. Um, the third type of class is a third party one. The third party classes with my tech, they don't have to be approved beforehand. Um, like they don't have to be a vendor or whatever, like Harmony does. There are some requirements with it, like it has to be a public class and it has to be a group class for a third party. Um, like my son just did a pyramid project class for his and it was a neighbor that was doing it and this is her first year doing it, but she charged $300, which was what the funding is for a third party class. And I just put in all the information, which was her name. Uh, she set up a website just for the class. And she also had her phone number and email, those things. So I had all that information, put it in. And I'm assuming they're going to reimburse me. I'm submitting my receipts tonight. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if it has to be a group, that means you can't do like a private piano lesson? Then? You can still get reimbursed for that, but it would be just like a custom build. Class, oh, it okay. wouldn't be a third party. Because you get oh, more money, gotcha. yeah. you oh, get more money for a third party. Okay. Okay. So for funding, like said, like Harmony, you just get a full amount. Mm -hmm. um, with my tech, it depends on the type of classes that you're doing. Um, so, so like I have two children that are taking piano lessons, and I did a custom build because she's not in the network or whatever you guys would want that way. But then I'm also using part of my technology money to pay for piano lessons as well because. We get $500 per child for technology, 
and that can it's technology and just overflow and overflow whatever. yeah so it goes to music lessons it can go to any extras that you want that don't qualify as like language arts class or a science class or um social studies um so how much do you get like I said, it depends on your schedule that you submit with them, which your schedule that you submit is just what you are committing to do something in each of those subjects each week. <laughs> and that you want to get reimbursed for stuff for those. Um, and the lowest so amount you it would, would be, be 1600 right? Yeah, like 1650 or something like that. Per and then if yeah, you took job. all of the classes, including the extra class, then it would be between 2000 like about 2000 so it's just kind of a range depending on classes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so the, yeah the, so the most you would be able to get per class is 300 dollars yeah. correct so, so yeah. then if you do all if you did yeah a third party class you get 300 right so if you did all five of your classes or whatever that way plus you got your 500 for your uh, tech models. funds then that would be 2000 so like it's a range in there depending on what kind of classes you choose um, yeah. Just kindergarten through, uh, through, through high school, high school. Yeah. and they have some like if you're interested. In, it's interesting that you can't do religious curriculum, but they have partnered with BYU Idaho for the high school. So there is BYU Idaho high school classes or LAU. I think is also there, and then there's a couple other high there's school snow. curriculum classes mm -hmm. that are there as well. We we've also used My Tech High to pay for a local small private school tuition. Oh, yeah. Which we got up to two thousand towards that. So just per, per child? Per child. Okay. Kindergarten you get half of the amount though. Because in most places, at least as of this year in Utah, kindergarten is half day. So real quick, I just wanted to follow up this did you, was that private school in the area? It's I so I live in the Ogden area. Oh okay. So I apologize. No we got our hopes. I know, right? <laughs> there are private schools up here, but yeah. I have looked and I have there's some yeah. charters. They're hard to find. The co-ops. There's mostly co-ops up here. Yeah. Are the same same thing with the IEP. Like, does that make a difference with how much or what they? Have? I don't have any experience. I with don't that. have experience with that. I know they do have some special ed resources there. Um, we they have a we lot used of it for our son with who had speech, and it was like a Zoom class for speech that they provided. Do you have the option I, to do something different? I don't know, but I have information for anybody who has an IEP that I'll talk about too. Okay. That's very similar to the Utah Fits All when it comes up. So. Okay, sounds good. Um, with that though, you could, I assume, get reimbursed for a tutor or yeah, someone from the outside to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, when you're talking about like the photography and Minecraft class, are those like? Tuesday at ten thirty online, no. or is that like a, like a? No, they throw it up there, and you just it. do it with them as you will. If you don't finish it, you don't finish it. Whatever. Um, one of the other differences is with reporting. We report once a week, and you just you log on, and your classes you've submitted with them are listed, and you click yes or no that you did something in that that week. And basically, yeah, yes or no. Yeah. But you're supposed to write like three to five paragraphs or three sentences. sentences. Sorry, not scaring you. Yeah. Three <laughs> <laughs> five sentences at the end. And actually, I do something unique for that. So I keep a blog. And so I just post something because I have six kids. And I'm not going to do that for all four of my kids that are enrolled in school. I decided that was just not fun. And so I do usually about a paragraph and a picture which says way more than words do, I think. And just try to keep a visual of what we're doing. With Fun things were, and we do a whole lot of. less than that. <laughs> my ours are like, I'll ask my kid, like, what something educational. It doesn't even have to be like one of your classes, just Thanks anything so educational. <laughs> and they're like, I learned about the letter A. It says ah, like apple. And submit that's three sentences. Submit. <laughs> yeah, that's three sentences. And there are certified teachers that they will comment back mm -hmm. on those. But it's just like, that's so great that you learned about the letter A. My name starts with A. Did you know that this week is National Donut Week or something? Like, how did you What's your like favorite it? donut? <laughs> or here's a video. Or you've been learning about orcas. Here's this, this cool website or something. That's all it is. And that was buggy if you didn't 
report. They'll be like, you're you haven't submitted your learning log. Why the are reporting yet? for these schools is like your attendance, and so that's how they're reporting to the state that you are your child is attending. So that's how, how you have to do. How often? Weekly. Ours is weekly. Yeah, you have to keep like eighty percent or something in order to stay enrolled. Eighty percent reporting. So you have to report, right? Yeah. Like eighty percent. Do you have a question? I was just thinking, <clears throat> since if we go through either how many, sorry, or my tech high, mm -hmm. we don't have to submit like a thing where our kids are homeschooled? An affidavit? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, because they're not homeschooled. Because of that though, uh, you can usually, I'm assuming Harmony has the same kind of thing, that you can get onto my tech and you can print out a thing saying kind of like, my, this is my student and my tech high and this is their teacher. They have so, transcripts. Yeah. Yeah. Not transcripts. Cause my son is starting dual enrollment in high school this next year. Yeah. And so he will be doing probably early morning seminary in two classes in the morning and then we wanted to do, there's actually a scholar school starting up in the, in the valley. I don't know if any of you know about that, but I can tell you for, um, give you a link for that or something later. Um, like Elizabeth Anderson and Misty Meyer. I don't know if any of those names ring a bell. The big homeschoolers in the valley as well. Is that high school? Or? So scholar school is with the um, TJ Ed mentality, and yeah, they're trying to do a one day a week kind of a high school appeal, so that we don't take all of our kids out of homeschool and it's, send them right to the high school. It's ages 12 and up. Yeah, so 12 and up ish. So that could be eighth grade as well, depending on where your kids are at. But I, I'm not sure where they're at. They're hoping to start it in September. So will you be like a hybrid then? Yes, I'm not sure how that's going to work quite yet. So okay. they'll be dual enrolled because you'd get credit from the high school for those two classes. And then I would maybe have funding for three classes for him. Okay. So my tech high will let you do a hybrid where you mm -hmm. can get funded for some at home and... I have you done that for high school? school? I have, my kids are little. I've heard about that, so, but, but I mean, yeah, I'm, I will be the guinea pig this year. You guys can ask me at the end of next year. If I have all gray hair, that mm -hmm. didn't work out too good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, to apply, you can start applying now. Just like our yeah. And um, I'm trying to do anything else. Reimbursements. Um, there are, you can get reimbursed for things or you can do direct orders. I've never done direct orders. I'm assuming it's the same kind of thing she's talking about. On Amazon, I know it's through Amazon, that you can just send them your stuff and they'll order it for you and send it to you. Aside from that, you submit reimbursements two times a year. Um, it's the most that you can submit them. And like ours, you are due by the end of this month. So if we don't get them in, then we won't get reimbursed. So. I'll be up late tonight because mm -hmm. I'm a last minute person. <laughs> I got my money. So. <laughs> yeah. And I'm hoping to get 6200 for my four kids. And we've done lots of different things. So yeah. You can get reimbursed for like national state, national and state parks, passes, you know, your internet. I just got reimbursed for my Amazon Prime. Um, so people get reimbursed for their Netflix, stuff like that. So with the custom built class, when I looked at it, you have to like kind of describe it. You used to have to go through and like put together this description. Okay. Now they have a set thing that'll pop up, and you can just use that, or you can edit it if you want. I've never edited it because it just says this is the math class following all the things outlined in parent link. Parent link is just like their information area. Uh, okay. okay. And so then, they, then it doesn't really matter, like, well, how do they define, like, what's math and what's language arts? Like, how, like, if we buy stuff, like, how do you, like, it's a little differentiate tricky. them? I've never Tricks. had issues. Okay. Technically, um, if you do a custom built class, all your custom built classes, all the money goes together in that, doesn't it? So you just yeah. submit it under one. Yeah, and like so, I have okay. four custom built classes, so you get $900 back if you just really submit all yeah. enough receipts for me. You do board. need to label it when you submit the receipts that okay. this but was for math. if it's math or science you just pick one and put it Got in. Got it. So if it was like, uh, so I could technically put everything under the language arts bucket and it would be approved, even if... Yeah, if, if you had like all these classes that were custom built, 
all that funding is for all of them. So some people, like, I bought our math curriculum already. I didn't, like, like last year, you know, like so I'm not spending Like she was saying, they won't, they won't um, reimburse for, like, uh, religious stuff. So if right, you do right. good and beautiful for language arts, then you don't get reimbursed for it. But then right. you can spend, like, five or six hundred dollars per kid in science. Or you could spend money on paper, paper and paper books. books. Right. Yeah, so if you were to buy like their books, they have to go under language arts. Yeah, and that's what they've done. Okay. Yeah. Or Osborne books, or Amazon books, or any books. Okay. So, why do you personally prefer My Tech High over Harmony? Because we haven't tried Harmony. <laughs> um, for me, I chose My Tech High because my sister in law was doing it. And I didn't actually even under like fully understand even the charter school thing at the time. Um, I last year I kind of started to look into harmony a little bit because I was interested in option stay, but then I found that option stay they were doing more classes that I didn't care as much about, and that took some of the money from your funding if you want to do that, and so to me that wasn't worth it. Um, I guess I could add to that too and just be like, I am pretty much off grid. Like, I don't meet with a teacher once a week. I, we get those emails once a week from the teachers, but they're hands off. Like, I get to do whatever I want with my kids and and I get to put funding in and get some money back instead of spending $6,000 a year on my kids by myself. I, in all honesty, I don't see why people don't do a charter. I understand some people are like, well, I don't want people monitoring me or whatever kind of thing, but really, they're not. You can do whatever you feel like. Um, so, so I will say the biggest difference <laughs> is is in how they give out the funding. So uh -huh. I think and they're a little bit trickier. Like. And then at Harmony, you have to do a little bit more reporting. That's the difference I see. Because technically, I see. so I've just. This is my first year in Utah, so this is the first year of homeschool. Like I haven't, I actually haven't signed up for either one. I've just been doing tons of research on them, and that's like the only difference I've been able to find. I don't know if that's true. It seems like they're both really hands off. Like I've heard yeah, with Harmony, heard. you can just take pictures and done. Like yeah. you don't even have to write yeah. anything down. Harmony is really hands off. The thing yeah. people don't like about Harmony is the quarterly reporting because it does take time, but. And one thing people don't like about my tech high is if they haven't kept track of their receipts and things. Okay. Okay. And how many you need to pay twenty five dollars for each subject and all that. Sorry, what was that? And how many you need to pay twenty five dollars for each subject for the portfolio? Yep. Yes. That's my oh, okay. That's that. Yeah. No. All of our reporting, it's just purely that weekly thing. That's all the reporting. And the classes, I'm not that familiar, right? So some classes online, are they like um, part of our funding, or you can just take them as it's part of my team, my high team? Yeah, that will take your money. That'll so take you choose one of their classes yeah. that you yeah. don't get. So like my kids, that. how my son is doing the Minecraft one. Mm -hmm. um, from my tech, my class, my, that's the technology class funding. I didn't get that this year because I chose to do that. So I don't need it. And that those are online? You can do all direct classes. If you're okay with your kids being online, my son will just play games all on. If, he's, if I tell him to get online to do his class, he'll get on his game. And he's not doing any of his classwork. So I, didn't opt for any online classes for him as a 14 year old boy this year. He needed all hands on stuff. So. And they do have, um, they do parent info sessions all the time. You just go on the website, you can find those. Um, the question and answer stuff. I got on that for the first time this morning because I didn't know what to say here. I'm like, I have only been doing this three years. But I don't. Um, that, yeah, they have Zoom meetings Monday through Friday in the mornings that you can just get on and just ask them whatever questions you want. To the, and they were like very personal questions. They were looking at people's accounts, going through their reimbursement stuff with them. And stuff. So it, so. The unofficial My Tech High Facebook page is actually really informational. Like, yeah. It's better than the official My Tech High <laughs> Facebook page. That's it's true. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. How many said they start sending like when my 
Ours is from April 1st until May 31st, or not May, March 31st. So we do not get funding if we purchase things in July or August. Things we can get funding for things we purchase then, but if you have classes then in the summer, oh, those two summer months, you can't get reimbursed for the classes. Um, like the summer classes. Mostly it would be just because like a regular March. school year ends and you're technically But yeah, anything you purchase any year. At this point, anything we purchase will go on next year's. Tomorrow I go, we'll buy pencils, and in July I buy crayons. Mm -hmm. That will go towards next year's. Yeah. 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 Sorry. So like, so it's this from year, April first. This April year started 1st. April first, 2022, and ended March 31st, 2023. So I don't know if you guys will know this or not, but do you know if they have any kind of like English second second language kind of? My son tried to take a Spanish class last year, and they would have paid for that as a course curriculum, but I couldn't find anything. He wanted to do something in person here in the Valley, and I couldn't find anybody that would, that was doing that, that was under the price bracket, if that makes sense. It was like $500 to $1,000 to do private lessons for a second language. But and are so. you talking specifically about ESL? Yeah, we're adopting okay. from Columbia, so. Yeah, I don't know. My guess is where they're part of a public system, they would have to provide that. Yeah. In some, they, it, it would probably in end up being way. a Zoom thing like right. the speech therapist. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either so. that or they would have to hook you up with someone locally or something okay. just because legally schools have to provide that. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let's give a round of applause for